you can create a multilingual site within the same site using our feature of a multilingual site. We recommend creating a site first in one main language and only then proceeding with this guide. This way, pages already made in the primary language will be copied to the new language versions. This way, you can create separate language versions of your site. In the editor, they will be conveniently separated into different sections, and on the published site, each language version's page will have its own URL. For example, if the page in English has the such link, the French version will be like this. Content of other language versions is translated manually. Still, all pages from the main language will be duplicated to a new language version of the site, so all you need to do is translate pages' texts and change images, if necessary. Open your site settings, go to the multilingual site section and click on the add a new language button. In the open window, select the language in which your site is currently written and which site's language version you want to add. You can also select the flag you need it will be displayed only in the editor for your convenience when switching languages. After selecting the current and the new language, click the add button. After adding a language version, all pages will be duplicated into a separate section of your site where you can edit pages of another language version. The text of the pages is not translated automatically. Below will be shown how to open the pages to translate them manually. Obby default, the new language version is hidden from your site visitors. When you finish creating and translating it, you can turn on this switch to make the pages available on your published site. You can manage the language versions of your site. Change the language of the language version. Important. This will change all pages links of this language version. Create a new language version based on another already created language version of the site. Set the SEO region of the language version, a recommendation for search engines, in which country it should display the pages of this language version. Delete the language version and all its pages. Also, in these settings, you can add more language versions of the site using the Add a New Language button. A maximum of five languages can be created. Now go to the editor to change the created language version. After opening the editor in the upper left corner, in the drop-down list, click on the flag of the language version you need to open. Hidden language versions are indicated by a crossed eye icon. You have switched to a new language version of your site. Here, you can sequentially open all the pages and translate their texts into the language you need. For example, if the main site version is written in English and the added language version should be in French, then you should open each page in the French language version and translate all content into French on them. Pages of different language versions are independent. If necessary, you can delete some pages of a language version or, on the contrary, add new pages to only one language version without copying them to other languages. Please note that all pages of new language versions have a URL with a language identifier after the site root, your domain. For instance, if the main version of the site in English has a link like this, then this link will look like this in the French language version, added the FR part. The language identifier is set automatically depending on the site's language version. If later you create a new page in one language version, you can copy this page to other sites' language versions in order to translate it there into the desired language. Thus, there is no need to separately create new identical pages in different languages from scratch if these pages differ only in language. You can create a page one time and copy it to other languages. If your site header is global, displayed on all sites' pages, it will be in the same language on all language versions of the site. For the language version to have a site header in the desired language, you should hide a global site header on all pages of the created language version and add an ordinary non-global header to one of the pages. After adding a non-global site header, translate it into the desired language. If necessary, add and configure a language menu. To set a language menu on your site, hover over the box and click on the plus, then choose the element language menu in the pop-up window. Hover over the component and click on a gear to open its settings. In the pop-up window you can choose the language menu type the way it will be displayed on a site. By default, the language menu comes as a drop-down. Switch the tab to the horizontal in order to change the display. You can also change the number of the languages in the menu. You can edit the icon of the particular language by clicking on the image itself. Add a link to the corresponding language versions we created at the beginning. To edit the text in the menu, select the text and adjust its display in the pop-up. 
Press on the chain icon to add the link to the relevant site address. After that, click on the three dots in the upper right corner of the header and select the Copy to option. In the open window, select all pages of the current language version where this header will be copied. For example, if you created a site header in French for the French language version, then you need to select all pages, except the current one, where there is FR next to the page name. Thus, this site header will be placed on all pages of the French language version. When you have finished working on the language version, go to the multilingual site settings, toggle on the language version visibility. Done. Publish the site for the changes to appear live.